Shalom, I'm Neil and this is my wife Jamie. Shalom. Welcome to our Fort Lauderdale living room. God is going to bless you today and he's going to speak his first blessing through Yochanan, a friend of ours who's near the western wall in Jerusalem. We wish you blessings and peace from Jerusalem. Yei barechecha Hashem itziyom Urebetuv Yerushalayim Urevanim lavanecha Shalom al Yisrael Blessings from Zion and from Fort Lauderdale in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. The word blessings in Hebrew is brakot. Brakot are gifts from a loving God. We're all familiar with expressions such as count your blessings and praise God from whom all blessings flow. God is indeed the source of every blessing. James 1.17 tells us that every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father of lights. You know, we have so many blessings to be thankful for, all of us, for our homes, our children, our, our food, our clothing, family, everything. Family, friends, yeah. This country. And you know what else we're familiar with, Jamie? We're familiar with the expression, a blessing on your head, mazel tov. But, you know, even that is from the scriptures. It's from the book of Proverbs, the 10th chapter. Blessings are on the head of the righteous. The same chapter goes on to say, the blessing of the Lord makes one rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. Mm -hmm. and just a few chapters on, uh, Proverbs 28, a faithful man will abound with blessings. Now, all of these are blessings that we receive. Later on, we're going to talk about blessings that we give to people. Right, but speaking of receiving, we began receiving blessings from God right in the beginning, right Bereshith. Right in the beginning, Bereshith. Right I'd like to, to read um, from Genesis chapter 1 to you now. Verse 27 says, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God he created him, male and female he created them. Then God blessed them. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. Right at the beginning, God's desire, his heart, is to bless mankind. And Jewish history also begins with a blessing. Yes. In Genesis chapter 12, God speaks to Abraham and he says, I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great. I will bless those who bless you and I will curse him who curses you. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So that blessing to mm -hmm. Abraham and the Jewish people spilled over to all people. And you know, the blessing of a Abraham, as you say, extends even to the Gentiles through the Messiah, through the initiation of the New Covenant. In Galatians chapter 3, we read the following, Messiah has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us, for it is written, cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in the Messiah Yeshua, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith blessed with the blessing of Abraham. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be Jewish to have that blessing. That's good for me. God blesses all those that bless the children of Abraham. Let's hear about that more from our good friend Chuck Cohen, who lives and ministers in God's favorite city, Jerusalem. Well, in Genesis chapter 12, God's initial promise to Abraham says, I will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you. And we have seen how that particular scripture has really molded history. We've seen that the nations who have blessed the nation of Israel have really been blessed. And then the nations who have cursed the nation of Israel or have made them little, put them down, or come against God's prophetic uh, purposes for Israel have been cursed and divided and cut in half and destroyed. And I think that that applies to people too. Uh, Neil, we concentrate a lot on blessings, but there is a reality of a curse going down to the third and fourth generation. If we mess around with the new age or the occult or this or that, that most people are not aware of. And yet, blessings and curses are mentioned over 600 times in scriptures. I would think if God mentions something that much, he wants his children to be aware of it. Yes, God wants us to be aware of both the blessings and the cursings. Many of the blessings come to all people, regardless of their relationship with God. Sunset, sunrise, beautiful just trees and beauty, flowers, of, beauty yes. of things around us. But, but God says in the scriptures, that most of the blessings are with a condition. That's it's right. kind of like going to a park and there's a, a path and the say, sign says stay on the path and we get off the path and we get into the poison ivy and we start scratching and, and we say, oh, people made this park. Or we get mad at God. Or we get uh -huh. mad at God. Mm -hmm. but, but listen, this is what God has to say about his blessings. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28. And it shall come to pass if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe carefully 
all his commandments which I command you this day, that the Lord your God will set you high above all nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. In other words, just obeying, the blessings overtake you. They're a natural part. Oh, oh, oh. 